Hi, welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to be answering a question that we've gotten from several people this last year concerning the torque timer. We thought we'd do a quick video because we've been answering via email and answering um, you know, on our blog and other things with people. So just to go ahead and do a quick video, how do we test this if we're not sure if it's working or not? And again, our last video, we showed you how to set the timer and how the timer operates. This is the Torque 602A and it has two outlets on it. So to test this, we remove it from our system and because we don't want to be playing around with the pump. It's usually in a little bit tighter areas and it's not as accessible. So we'll bring it in and what we do is, is we have a little light um, so that way we have something we can test. It's a little bit easier to see if this is fully operational or not. You can use anything else. You could use a radio or something that at least you know it's going on or off and you can tell if the system's working. So what we do is first thing, make sure that whatever device we have, that it operates. So we test our lamp and it lights and that's good. We go ahead and we plug in our torque timer and then we're going to plug our light into that. Our first step is inside the timer, that little switch, the on and auto switch, we'll switch it to on and make sure the light goes on. So that's good. We know now that the electricity is coming through the torque timer and it's going out to supply whatever appliance or pump or light or heater, whatever we have connected to it. So we're going to go ahead and switch it back to auto. Now with it still plugged in, what we've done is we've set some switches, we've just left them in the on and off. It's a 15 on, 15 off. What we'll see is the light will go on and off, on and off as we turn the timer. We then put a couple switches, a whole group down so that we can go through it off and then we put about five or six of them in the up position so that we, once it turns on it'll stay on for a bit and then back to the off position. The other thing you're going to hear is as you're turning this, you're going to hear clicking. Each time it clicks, that's the lever clicking on or off inside. You want to make sure you're hearing that. So the arrow is pointing around and we're going to turn this thing clockwise. So here we go. We're going to start turning. You hear the click there and the light snaps on, snaps off. And then we still have it off and now see, it's going on and off as we turn it. There we go. So you saw that timer is working there. Now one of the things we can do too is keep it in your 15 on and 15 off and let it sit here and just kind of watch for a while and in 15 minutes come back over and make sure the light turned on. 15 minutes later make sure the light turned off. And that's the way to test this and make sure it's working properly. If you have any questions, please go ahead and submit your questions to us. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please go ahead and send those to us. And we're looking forward to getting a few more videos done for you. And we'll have those posted soon. And like us if you want and subscribe to our videos. We appreciate it. And take care. And until next time, happy gardening.